Scientists discovered that the speed of Earth's rotation around its axis increased dramatically and our planet set a record for the speed of rotation in the history of observation. Some scientists believe that we are entering 50 years of rapid Earth rotation, but other scientists believe that the planet has reached a record and will slow down. Many people believe that the Earth makes a complete revolution around its axis in 24 hours. That's almost correct. Since 1973, scientists have been measuring the speed of the planet's rotation using atomic clocks and thus establishing the amount of time it takes the Earth to make a complete revolution around its axis. A few years ago, scientists discovered that the Earth was slowing its rate of rotation, and the International Earth Rotation and Reference Systems Service even began adding extra seconds to the 24-hour clock. Scientists did this to compensate for the slower rotation of the Earth and to keep time counting as accurate as possible. But over the past couple of years, atomic clock data show that the Earth is speeding up its movement around its axis. Some scientists have suggested that we are entering 50 years of increasing speed of the Earth's rotation, and thus shorter days. But other scientists believe that this period will soon end and the Earth will slow down again. In 2020, Scientists recorded 28 of the shortest days in Earth's history since 1960. But in 2021, the shortest day was slightly longer than the days in 2020. But on June 29, 2022, the Earth recorded a record for its rotation, on that day the planet made a revolution around its axis 1.59 milliseconds faster. The next similar case of record speed was recorded on July 26 this year, and then Earth's speed allowed the planet to make a revolution 1.50 milliseconds faster. The previous record was set on July 19, 2020, when Earth's rotation took 1.4602 milliseconds less than usual. So far, scientists don't know exactly why the speed of the Earth's rotation around its axis is changing. There are major theories that explain this, the speed changes because of melting glaciers at the poles and the weight of the planet decreases, the velocity changes because of movements in the molten part of the Earth's core. Some scientists believe that the change in rotational speed is due to seismic activity on the planet. Another theory states that the velocity changes because of changes in the position of the Earth's geographic poles. By the way, if we talk about the Earth's core, it consists of molten and solid parts. And a recent study by scientists confirmed the existing theories about the age of the inner, solid core of the Earth. As expected, it appeared 550 million years ago, 